Um, my name's Michael Richards. I'm with the uh, Fairfield County Blender Meetup Group. And this is World Blender Meetup Day. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much, Sterling, for organising this. It's uh, really good sure. to have everybody connected together. So we are uh, actually a small group here in Stamford, uh, Connecticut. For those who are not aware, Fairfield County is the, the lowest county in Connecticut, just over the border from New York State. So there's a few New York uh, blender groups, but they're not terribly uh, active. We, uh, we, we try to meet up once every month and uh, get together. Just one second. <laughs> there we go, I just turned on the light here. Uh, wow, that looks so weird looking up at a distorted screen at an angle like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just try to... You're larger than I here, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Let me step back a little bit, mate. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Not so huge. So we uh, we have a maximum. We, as I said, a small group. The most we've had is about uh, nine or ten people. And today we were supposed to have nine people coming, but two of them RSVP uh, that they couldn't come, and four of them were slackers and just didn't turn up. <laughs> so there's only three of us here today. Awesome. So um, myself uh, and a couple of other people which will introduce themselves in a moment. So just quickly uh, about me, I've been using Blender since about 2.48 uh, and of course was really happy when 2.5 came in. And we'd, we're, all of us are just amateurs, we're just learning how to use it and uh, having fun uh, in the process. We all have day jobs. and but. Blender's a fun thing to come home to do. So we are uh, we're doing what a lot of other groups are doing. We're trying to put together a little short film, about four minutes, uh, fully computer animated, most with just about 100% of Blender. And uh, that's keeping us busy. It's a, 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 a it's a fairly ambitious project, so it's taking us a while to do. Uh, we might show you a little bit of that too. We are also, I'm also into 3D printing, and I've got some of those to show you as well, some show and tell. And uh, <clears throat> that's all I can think of at the moment. I'm going to introduce you to the uh, second uh, main guy in my group. His name is uh, George. Hello. Hi, George. How are you doing? Good. Well, I'm off the screen. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'll just leave that. Um, uh, my background is I go, actually was an industry professional who worked in the uh, digital effects back in the uh, 80s, uh, up until 90, so I worked on uh, many films doing motion control and um, compositing and, you know, doing it a non-digital way. Uh, then, you know, I left the industry and now I have a different job and Blender, it keeps me linked to that. I've been using, I've been part of, we've been part of what this group for I've been working for a year now, uh, and um, so uh, I've learned quite a bit. I remember looking at Blender a while ago, and, and I thought, oh, this is such a toy. That was back in 2.8, whatever. It's like back after the 2.5 uh, change, and I said, okay, this is something worth playing. Hey, George, can you get a little, little closer to the microphone? We're, we're getting a cut out. Sorry. I just said I think I'm much more. I was much more impressed, and I've been very happy with Blender since then. So, good. Okay, great um, to be you, George. Yep. Um, uh, uh, one of the things, as I said, we've been doing is a um, working on a short film. We spent a year in pre-production, coming up with the concept uh, script. Um, we did a lot of very, a lot of um, different. With 120 concepts, we would have our way down to one rather than just picking the first idea that occurred to us. And then we did multiple scripts and compared them and picked the best one for different concepts. And then we've been editing that up to like version 6.2 or something of the script. So we've got that down as well. 
we then did storyboarding. Uh, all the whole group did storyboarding, and then we compared them all and cut and paste and worked out the best pieces of that. George is the best uh, artist among us. So, so we use <laughs> so we use most of his pictures because he's such a good drawer. Uh, and then we also did the animatics. So we've actually came in with two cameras recorded all of us acting out the whole movie and all of the different pieces. Um, one of the main reasons for us doing that was for two purposes. Uh, one was that we would have, uh, we, we shot the cameras actually so we'd capture the full people, so that we actually had 90 degree views of most of, uh, of us acting out so we could use it for animation references. The other thing we did is and I took that and I edited it down into the final animatic so that we could, um, we, I, you know, you close in and I used the, um, the, um, the sequence editor to do that, to basically animate the whole piece. So we have a full movie that we hope no one will ever see because <laughs> running around looking very stupid, I played the part uh, of the bottom half of a little old lady and the lady in our group plays the face of a little old lady. So that's a little bit better. It has six characters in it with lots of action and four vehicles and lots of running around and chasing and stuff like that. That should be awesome. fun. We would love to see it or any uh, works in progress you have. Like if you can paste any URLs into the, uh, the um, IRC channel, that'd be great. Uh, let me share my screen. Can you see that? Uh, not yet. Let me make sure I can. How do I click this? Uh, oh, share screen only. There we go. This is not much. This is just uh, when it comes up. Um, is a draft version of a, you know, that I just threw together recently of one of the vehicles, which is a little penny farthing. Can you see that now? Yeah, we can see it. Uh, oh. Really put any real textures on it. They're just new textures. Back to the 3D view. We've uh, we've got the thing so that the wheels turn <laughs> nicely, and the, uh, it's a bit hard to see there, but the the people stay horizontal and uh, all that sort of stuff. Oh, oh, could you go and – sorry, we've got one guy uh, that just had to put quarters in his uh, car. Uh, he, we just had to let, let him back in the building because it's locked. He'll let yeah. himself in a moment as well. Okay, no worries. Uh, so that's just one of the basic things. We, we've um, – what have we got here? Uh on our meetup side, of course, like everybody does, they have photos of stuff. We've been, we've been putting some of our um, our test renders and things. Uh, we've been playing around a lot with different materials and props uh, and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, doing distressed wood textures and so, sorts of things. We're trying to set up a whole pile of generic... Uh, a material library, of course, so that we can use it throughout and things like that. So, that, we also have uh, gotten a connect and we're, we're trying to do motion capture with a connect to do all of the actual running around so that we don't have to do most of the uh, animations by hand. That should help a lot with the uh, more realistic movement. Awesome. Uh, and we're using an, a program called NI Mate to link it through to a rig uh, within Blender so that we can um, see it happening. Excellent. So the other thing, I'll quickly while I'm here, I'll just quickly show you this. Uh, this is a, an exercise, uh, a learning exercise. This was me a, few, a couple of years ago attempting to write a website. This is my website, which so it's the complete user interface of Blender. That was its intention, and it actually had like all of the widgets across the whole of Blender. With sort of basically just as a reminder to show where everything is, and I had done it through a whole pile of the modes and and properties and constraints and modifiers and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But Blender is just so huge, as you all know that it's impossible for any one person to do this. I basically uh, did never got to the timeline, the graph editor, LA, LA, all the rest of the editors to show all the different components in it. So 
I haven't had time to update this lately. Uh, it's it's more fun blending than it is writing up what Blender does. <laughs> yes. Agreed. So, Kudos to all of the people who do documentation in Blender on the wiki and all of the tutorials that people do, because without them we would all be lost, but it takes them a huge amount of time, so it's fantastic. So let's stop the sharing and go back to the screen. And uh, oh, uh, the last, the, the third guy is just here. Let me put him to sit down and he can introduce himself and uh, what he does. <laughs> awesome. Welcome. Hello. My name is uh, Steve Hagberg, and uh, I'm more of a Cinema 4D user, but now that I'd have to pay for it coming up soon, I think I might be more of a Blender person. Sorry. <laughs> no. Nice. And uh, so I've been using Blender for... Uh, about two months and um, still getting the hang of it. But these guys here have been very helpful and recommended a few books and uh, resources to use so I can, uh, you know, get a little better. And um, so. Awesome. Well, <laughs> welcome. Uh, good to meet you. Hey, Ken, you. can you get the lights back there? Um, I'll just spin my laptop around. It's connected to like 20 different cables here. But uh, these are the folks in our meeting. So, like I said, we have like like about 16 or so, uh, and they were that we had some uh, nods of acknowledgement. They'd seen your Blender UI website, and everybody was really impressed with the penny farthing. So, nice work, guys. Okay. Awesome, Michael. Anything else or? Uh, yes, there is actually. If you could. Okay. Uh, oh, you have to put it back on me. I'll show you the 3D printing stuff in a moment. And of yeah. course, like, like all of you, of course, we have our lots of Blender books, more Blender books, <laughs> our Art of Blender, of course, which is pretty cool. And what I really will show you here is, let me just move the screen over a bit. And, whoops. Um, oh, wow. So I've been 3D printing lately. I got hold of a MakerBot Replicator 2 for a couple of weeks and printed all of these ones in purple and, 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 uh, and orange. And a lot of the others here were printed from shape waves, like, uh, like this sort of cool shape. Some of these, some of this are, are not my design. They're other people's designs, like Bathsheba, which many of you may have heard about. And other things uh, are things that I've designed myself in Blender, like this is a full color sandstone. These are through, as I said, shapeways.com. Uh, this is a, comes apart. As well as um, a lot of, lot of other types of objects like uh, this sort of thing. And uh, hard here to show. Probably doesn't fit very well with the camera here. Uh, as well as um, things like this here, which is oh wow, a project that oh, Michael, we can't. We you need to get closer to the microphone. Oh, sorry. Can you hear that better now? Yes. Yeah. So this is uh this was a project my wife did, who's um, studying architecture, and she designed a whole set of buildings and uh, uploaded them and fixed them up. In, uh, she did it in AutoCAD. I pulled them into Blender, cleaned them up, hollowed them out, sent them to Shapeways and printed them off, including uh, this sort of thing. So it's, this is a well That's pretty amazing. Yeah, so we've been having a bit of fun. We've even got things like... Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, fully 3D printed. That was actually printed as 14 separate pieces. Oh my gosh. And assemble. So we've been having a bit of fun over here. But as I said, we're a small group. We just uh, do it in our spare time. And uh, so I think that's about everything we have to, to show you guys.